Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and today I wanted to share with you all of the very first things that we have either bought or been given for baby boy Molten and I've had some of this stuff now since since we found out so since I want to say like June and I am so so excited to share them with you so without further ado let's jump into it. So a lot of you guys have asked how I share the news like how I reveal to my parents and my family that we were pregnant and expecting. Well let me show you. I knew that I wanted to buy like a little onesie and wrap it in a box and have my family open it. My dad is really really good though at figuring things out before <laughs> before surprises are revealed. So I knew that I didn't want to gift him or my mom something because I knew for sure that he would be like, you're having a baby before he even opened it. So what I ended up doing was buying this super cute onesie for my brother, having my brother open it in front of my parents and that's how we did the reveal. So let me show you the onesie. How cute is this? So if you, I don't think I've mentioned on this channel, or maybe I have in passing, my brother just joined the NYPD and it was not too long after his graduation that we revealed to them that we were expecting. And I thought it would be really cute to say to my brother like, oh, hey, I have a little present for you and like want you to open it in front of mom and dad like for graduation and no, like that wouldn't seem out of the ordinary or weird or like give anything away. And when he opened it, it was so cute. He held it up and he was so surprised. And I said like, we're pregnant, we're expecting. And my parents couldn't believe it. So yeah, this is the first thing Baby Boy Molten ever had in terms of clothing. And he can rep the NYPD when he wears this onesie. So cute. And then in terms of surprising my in-laws and telling them that we were expecting, we did the same thing, except we gifted both of them two separate onesies and we told them that we had an anniversary present for them. And these are the onesies that they opened. This is a little Canadian maple leaf. My husband's Canadian. My in-laws are Canadian, obviously. And so we gave them this little onesie to open and then this little onesie, which I think is so adorable. It has little, <laughs> it's like little winter animals with Canadian flags. How adorable. So yeah, that I thought those were so cute. Such a fun way of surprising and telling people that you're expecting. And then if you guys follow me, well, no, you would have seen on my like pregnant, like baby reveal video on here, this little outfit. And I also posted a picture on Instagram. We got this from Polarn O Pirate. There's a little store on the Upper West Side. And when we saw this, we knew that this was the outfit that we were gonna use for like the baby announcement and baby reveal. It's, you guys will recognize this from the video, but it's the little cat onesie. I mean, really, how adorable is this? It, we wanted in some way like to incorporate Elsie because I'm a crazy cat mom. And when we saw this onesie, we were like, absolutely, right? Like there's a picture of a cat. It's gender neutral because at the time we didn't know we were having a boy and it's just the cutest thing ever. And then I got the hat to go with it. Oh, I mean, stop, how cute. So yeah, both of these things were from Polarn O Pirate. And how cute, I can't. And then these are the last few clothing pieces for little baby boy Molten. So this one's actually quite a recent one, but I wanted to include it because it's from my best friend. She sent us these little pants. How cute are these? It says Adventure Awaits, which I think is adorable. And they look, they look like little harem pants. I mean, obviously for the baby's diaper, but how adorable. And a matching hat. Ah, so cute. And this one says adventure awaits as well. So she sent this to us from the store Hazel and Holly on Etsy, which she said is her favorite, favorite store on Etsy for baby clothes. So I'm definitely gonna have to check it out. And then my other best friend gave us this little onesie that she found at a market from the brand Lucky Bug Clothing Company. This is so cute. Look at this. I mean, really. It's a little onesie, short sleeve, and it has vegetables on it. <laughs> How cute is this? 
I mean, really. So she got this for us because Jeff and I are both vegan. And like, we, we like vegetables. I mean, I should be eating more vegetables, but you know what I mean. And again, like we didn't know at the time we were having a boy. And it's just, it's so cute. Also, the fabric is to die for. It is so soft. What is it this is made out of? It's 97% viscose from bamboo and three percent spandex so it feels like a dream like it really does feel like a cloud the softest material ever these are cute little presents that we received from my husband's aunt she gifted us after we told her that we were expecting she gifted us this really gorgeous beautiful soft sorry the bag keeps falling on the ground onto elsie's food this really, really soft, big blanket. Oh my God, it's so, so nice. She said that like, you know, everyone's gonna be giving you clothes and baby things, but you're gonna be sitting, you know, breastfeeding or feeding your baby and you're gonna want like something comfortable to either like prop the baby up in or just have on you. And man, oh man, this is the softest blanket ever. It's just this beautiful cream color. It's just so stunning. She got this from Home Sense in Canada and it's so soft. And then she also gave us this really, really cute little Canadian moose stuffed doll. How cute is that? So if we can put this somewhere in the baby, you know, around the baby's room or, you know, just so cute to represent Canada. Um, one of my best friends, the same one who gave me the little Adventure Awaits set, had also given me this really cute baby keepsake box. And I haven't opened it yet, surprisingly enough. And it's a memory box to like keep all of like baby's first things in. And so I'm really excited to eventually open this and start using it. And the very last thing I wanted to share with you is from Mini mochi i think it's called we my husband and i went to toronto this summer and we knew that we were expecting but we didn't know the gender we wanted to buy something for the baby just to like commemorate our trip and and the baby and just to be able to say like oh we got something for the baby from our trip to toronto because toronto is it just is a city that means a lot to both my husband and i it's the city where we met and we both work for disney so we ended up getting from this store this really cute teething ring it's from elephant shoe teething company and it's just the most darling teething ring ever it's made it's 100 non-toxic made from food grade silicone beads which are free of bpa latex lead phthalates pvc and cadmium it's made like the natural wood is treated with vegan wax and olive oil and so it's just like a very natural teething ring and i also loved it because one of the rings is like has a marble effect on it so it looks like marble I don't know, it's really cute and um again we thought it was just like a really cute gift to get for baby and i am obsessed with it and guys that's all of the very very first things at baby collected and i am just oh it's just so sweet to start to see like baby clothes and little baby things around the room. It makes me so excited to start organizing and putting things away and for the baby to have his own little space. So that's everything I wanted to share with you. If you liked this video, don't forget to subscribe so that you can follow my pregnancy journey and follow baby boy Molten as he grows, grows, and grows in my belly. And then when he comes, it's gonna be the most exciting ever. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and I'll talk to y'all really soon. Bye guys.